took us a lot longer to get ready than I thought it would, but we made it and it's 1025. We are still in Brooklyn and heading towards the Verrazano Bridge. And we're gonna bring you on this road trip from New York City down to South Carolina. It's Carolina. It's only 10.30 and we just left and I'm already hungry. Luckily, we packed a pasta salad, so it's gonna be delicious to eat in the car. I'm probably gonna eat it soon, like as a brunch. I don't know if I can even make it to 11. <laughs> Can't get us at Burger King. stopping at Chipotle on our road trips because they have great vegan options. They have the sofritas options, which we both get. I got the burrito bowl, and I don't know if you can see, but they gave me so much guacamole. Can you see all that? They literally emptied the entire thing into my bowl because they were replacing it. So this is a huge meal. Honestly, I don't think I can finish this. So we're at Chipotle and I got a sofritas burrito. I normally get sofritas, black beans, guacamole, corn, lettuce. Let's check it out. I know it's hard to see what a burrito looks like until you really bite into it. That is just a gigantic burrito. Here's my gigantic burrito, almost as big as my head. I'm in my happy place eating my burrito. When you're on a road trip and you get super hungry, sometimes Chipotle really hits the spot, so. We have six hours left, so we're probably about halfway there now. Some of the snacks that we packed on our trip are this watermelon. It's so delicious. It does make us pee though, so we have to time it right when we eat it. We'll have to take a rest stop within the next hour and a half probably. Having fresh fruit and homemade food on a road trip makes all the difference. You feel so much healthier and energized. Rather than being weighed down by fast food, processed foods, we still went to Chipotle, but I really, really enjoyed the cold pasta salad that we made. And now for a late afternoon snack, get some fresh watermelon. There's nothing better than that. You can't beat that. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. We have less than one track of gas and we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, Virginia, so hopefully we can find a gas station. Last time this happened to us and there was no gas station for like 20 to 30 miles and we went to the nearest one and it was closed and then we went to the second one and they said they didn't have any gas. We, were, we thought we were going to be stranded and we had our three cats, but the third one we went to, we made it there and they did have gas, so hopefully we can make it start praying. Possible Whopper. It has its own packaging. Looks like that. It's got the Burger King logo on the back. Let's open it up. Looks like. So you have to make sure to ask for no mayo, otherwise, they'll put regular mayo on it. Unfortunately, they don't have vegan mayo. Alright, here we go. Very good. It's just a simple, impossible burger. <laughs> 